Hey guys, it's Jessica and today we're going to talk about my favorites and least favorites from the month of July. I've been trying a lot of new makeup this month and some actually I've got a couple of old favorites, some brand new favorites, and then I also have a few uh, misses that we'll talk about at the end. So let's start with my favorites. So the first one is an old favorite and it's from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal True Magic Lumi. Look at me just like wheeling around <laughs> like I own the place. Anyway, um, I'm using a new chair, so I feel like different in it. it. It spins easier than my other chair. Anyway, it's the True Magic Lumi Cushion Foundation. I used to love this a while ago, and I'd kind of go back and forth with using this and not using it. So I finally pretty much used it up, and so I ended up, you know, throwing it away. Well, I recently repurchased it maybe a few months ago. I love this stuff. So the way that I apply it, I'll show you right now, actually. I'll use a moist or wet sponge and I will simply dip it into the sponge that it comes with and just start applying it to my face. This provides a very lightweight, kind of sheer glowy color to your face. So this is not a high coverage or even a medium coverage foundation. I will sometimes put this on top of other foundation if it looks a little too dry. I feel like this kind of enlivens it again but I'll also use it on its own when I'm just in a hurry or I just want my skin to look fresh and healthy. If you're wanting high coverage like I said this is not the foundation for you that's not what it's about but I just love this it's one of my favorites it's the only cushion foundation I still have the other really good one is the, the Laneige one I talked about about a year ago but I've since used it up and I it this is like just as good and it's so much cheaper so Love, love, love this stuff. I don't think that the wear time on this is insanely good. Like I could not put this on and 15 hours later look in the mirror and be like, oh yes, it's perfect. No, it will break through on my nose um, or break apart on my nose, but I just love it. And there's something about the packaging too. Oh my gosh. So this is great for touch-ups halfway through the day. Honestly, that's probably the way I use it the most. Let's talk about what's on my lips. This is a little pricey, but I cannot stop using it. It's from NARS. It's their... I think it's a newer product. It's their Afterglow Lip Balm. They sent me this and another product I'm going to talk about. And I get sent all kinds of things. And I try them out and I don't love them. And so sometimes they'll appear in videos like this. So I'm always straightforward with you guys regardless. This stuff I literally cannot stop using. It's their Afterglow Lip Balm. It kind of looks like it's going to be a brighter pink, but it's a sheer wash. But it kind of melts into your lips and it just... It feels so moisturizing, it looks moisturizing, and the color just kind of matches so nicely that it's no wonder I can't stop reaching for it. I use it every single day. So I love it. If you're usually on the go and you don't always have a mirror with you, which like even if I have a mirror, I don't always want like a fussy lipstick. Um, or if you're even just around the house, it's still a comfortable lip balm. So it's pricey, but it's one of those things that like, when I see it in my purse, I'm like, <laughs> like I feel bougie and I love it. <laughs> this next product took me by surprise. It's what I have in my brows today and I'll show you me applying this as well. This is from Chella. It's their tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream. I got this in my BoxyCharm last month and I was like, oh yeah, another eyebrow product. Well, first of all, it took me far too long to figure out that you have to unscrew the cap and on one part of it is the actual eyebrow cream and then the other part of it is the brush. So I read a lot of your guys' comments about this saying uh, that it is, the brush gets all messed up the more you use it, which does kind of make sense and that's a bummer because, and so far so good, I've been using it for probably three weeks now. I filmed the BoxyCharm video a while ago, anyway. Um, I feel like so far the brush is okay. I am starting to see a little bit of the wear and I try to be really good about kind of cleaning it off safely and like making sure it doesn't touch the lid and get all jagged when I put the lid back on. But I can see how that's gonna be a problem. And that's a shame because that's part of the reason I love this. I feel like it spreads really easily into my brows like very quickly. But not only that, but I feel like this is so convenient. Like if you're traveling and you don't want, you know, 10,000 different things, a separate pot and a separate thing, it's nice to have it all in one. So I'll have to update you guys as I get farther down to the bottom of this on how the brush holds up. Oh my gosh, another favorite <laughs> recent find, Flower Beauty, drugstore priced. It's available on Ulta. It's their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I don't think this is full, full coverage. And it definitely creases big time. But I love it so much. So let me show you me applying it. It's such a creamy, 
lightweight formula. I feel like it glides on, it spreads out so easily no matter what brush you're using or if you, I will use my fingers with it all the time. I use a sponge with it. It looks beautiful any way you apply it. Now, like I said, the one downside is it does crease. So I'll notice it even more like if I, I'll put some of the concealer on my eyelid just as I'm doing it, I'll blend some onto there and it will definitely crease there and it'll crease on my under eyes. So I always set it with a powder unless I use a teeny tiny amount and try to avoid those fine lines. But honestly, I hardly ever avoid them. I just slather it on, but then I just set it with some kind of a powder. And again, I feel like the packaging is so beautiful. Flower Beauty is always, their packaging is always gorgeous. So the other, I, I hesitated to mention this because I know it's expensive, but it's so beautiful. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. I literally tried this two or three times wrote it off as if I hated it. I was like, I don't like it. I don't get it. And then I randomly used it one more time. I was like, I'm going to give it one more shot. And I put it on as my blush. And there was something about it. Like I looked in the mirror and I'm like, wait a minute, this is actually really pretty. So it's a loose powder. And at first I thought, oh, is it like a highlighter? And I'm like, well, no, it's more of a, you know, blush tone. I realized that the way it looks the prettiest is if you just use what's in the lid. So I'll kind of shake it and then tap out that extra that's in there. And then I'll grab my blush brush. This is the It Cosmetics Chic Blush. It's, this is one of the Ulta It Cosmetics brushes. So anyway, I'll get it on the blush or on the brush. Oh my gosh. And then I'll tap off a little bit on my little washcloth and then I'll apply it. And it looks so doll-like, but in a real way. Like it I think because it is a loose powder and it does have that illuminating quality, you definitely don't need a highlighter with it. Sometimes I'll put one on just for fun, but you really don't need one because it's definitely illuminating. But it just, because it's so thinly milled, it just like blends with your skin and it doesn't go anywhere. Like it lasts all day. It's so beautiful. So I know it's expensive, but it's kind of one of those things that I could see myself like if I got rid of tons of my blushes and only had like four I could see this being one of them because it's such a gorgeous long wearing blush and it's gonna last me forever <sighs> okay speaking of brushes this one I've mentioned before did I mention it in my last favorites video I should not mention it again go watch my last favorites video if you want to know what it is I do want to mention another brush though and I wasn't gonna mention it but now that I'm not mentioning that one okay I just said the word mention like five times this is the Delium Tools Golden Triangle Brush in 945 Contour. I use this for my highlight every single day. There's something about, the, like the density is just right and the shape is small enough that instead of like a fan brush where it ends up looking kind of more like a landing strip of highlight, this is just right to be able to just kind of fluff it on. And it also does the job of kind of blending it in with the surrounding area so that it doesn't look like a stripe. This is a brush that if I lost it, I would buy it again. That's how much I love it. And I feel like I couldn't say that about a lot of the brushes I own, but this is definitely one that I would purchase again if I lost it. I love it so much, so, so much. Another favorite of mine you saw in my Get Ready With Me that I just put up, I actually filmed a few weeks ago. And um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I'll show you me applying it to my face today. This is quickly become the only thing I use to contour my face, period. Because I can just squeeze some into the little sponge, which is, I love, I love the application of this. You just stick it on there. Sometimes it's a little too much, so I'll tap a little bit off. Um, Cause if you squeeze it too hard, a lot comes up. But this shears out so beautifully when you tap a sponge into it. I'll usually squeeze my sponge so it's a little thinner because you don't want the contour to get everywhere. But what I like about this is this isn't an exact science. I'm not going in trying to look absolutely flawless for a photo shoot or for a movie. It's just for me, for my everyday. And I feel like it shears out so beautifully that it actually makes me want to contour my face more often because I don't usually. But this, I like get excited to use it and to contour with it. So... I don't know what to say about that. I will say I don't think this lasts all day unless you set it with either just a regular powder or with like an actual bronzing or contour powder. I'll still usually just use it on its own because I still think it looks beautiful, but I wouldn't say that 12 hours later it's still there unless I've set it. Let's talk about the bummer products of the month. Oh my gosh. Okay, I had placed an order on Glossier recently and um, honestly, I had some credit on there and I was getting some stuff for my friend and I was like, well, I'll order a couple of new things that are there that I, I haven't ordered from them in over a year. 
Um, so I decided to try out the Glossier Lid Stars. If anyone's tried these, you probably already know what I'm gonna say. What in the world? So, okay. You have to go into this knowing that they are going to be the sheerest wash of color. It's, it's a cream eyeshadow. I don't think I said that. It's a cream eyeshadow. So I have this shade and I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be so pretty on the lid. Blend it up into the crease. Just, you know, you're good to go. Throw some mascara on and leave. Looks beautiful, right? This is the shade Fawn. And then I also got the shade Cub, C-U-B, Cub, which again, beautiful color, right? Well, I have used these probably five times each. Just, you know, because I'm usually bumming around the house like with my newborn and stuff. So when I'm not leaving, that's when I'm trying products like these. They go away. Like they're gone. You you put it on and you kind of, and I'm like, I was aware of this when I bought it. I watched a video on it. I'm like, oh, but you you start to tap it lightly. I'm not even like pulling to blend. I'm just tapping it. But because you've got to kind of blend it in, you know, I can't just stick a strip of it on and it just blends away so much so that I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to put on like two extra layers and see, no, it doesn't make a difference. So I, the reason I still got them knowing it was a sheer wash, cause I was like, well, I'll still like that sheer wash of color. I think that'll still look pretty. It's, it's just goes away guys. I can't stress that enough. Don't waste your money. Um, it's like the slightest hint of color but it's so slight, like it's not even like just a little bit like, oh, that looks pretty. No, it's like less than that. So I, I'm telling you, don't waste your money. I like that kind of a wash of color look and this still wasn't enough. So bummer, bummer, bummer. And it doesn't really work. I've tried it on top of other shadows. Like, oh, maybe it'll just look pretty, pat it on top. No, it kind of wipes the shadow away underneath it. And then this doesn't show up either. So it's like a horrible combo. Another unfavorite this month is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Foundation. I've tried to make this work. You saw in my Get Ready With Me. I love the idea of glowy foundations. That's my favorite kind. But I feel like I need it to... Like, I feel like this catches on to, like, parts of my skin and makes them look weird. And it's not necessarily, like, dry skin. It's, like, if I've got, like, peach fuzz, it catches the light weird. It just never looks good. I, I can't describe it other than that. It's never looked good on my skin. It kind of sits on top of it. It doesn't mesh well with it. I have it in the shade 1010 Ivory. I think it's a little light for me, but it works. Well, actually, really, it's more just a little yellow for me. It's okay. But the foundation itself, I think the packaging is cute. I love the little honeycombs they have on all of their stuff. If you're dying to try something from the Burt's Bees line, try their blush. Those blushes are gorgeous. Um, I have it in shy pink and it's really pretty and I really like their lip products, but the foundation If you've tried anything from the Burt's Bees range that I've not tried like those three things that I just mentioned Let me know below what else is good from their line because I'm I would certainly I'd love to do a video on like some of their other products But I'm 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 a little hesitant after trying this foundation. All right So my favorite song of the month. I've been doing this the past few months is um, oh, What is it called? It's called Chateau and it's by Okay, well, while I find it, my new favorite thing is going, I use Apple Music. Um, we used to use Spotify for years, but we recently, like last year, switched to Apple Music and like we pay for it so we can, you know, do what we want with it, basically. And so I'm still kind of, I feel like on Spotify, I had all my amazing plays, and I can still get on Spotify, but we used to pay for premium, which was awesome. But now that I'm on, Apple, on I'm on, whoa, slow down, Apple Music, I feel like I'm still trying to create my playlists and, you know, things like that. Um... So I, my new thing is going to Apple Music Browse. This is not sponsored. This sounds sponsored. It's not. Um, going to Browse and going to Playlists and going through their curated playlists and listening to them. So they, they have like cardio ones I'll listen to at the gym, um, today's hits. But then there was one called, um, oh, Best of the Week Apple Music Pop is really, really good. Um, anyway, they have one that was like... Uh, what's playing at Apple this week or something like that. And they were talking about what's playing at um, the Apple stores. And so it's just kind of new up and coming off the beaten path music typically, at least in my opinion. So the one that I fell in love with, um, it was just playing on that playlist. And I was like, what is this? I created a playlist called Vibes. Um, it's called Chateau and it's by Angus and Julia Stone. So then I started listening to Angus and Julia Stone and I was like, I literally love every song, but my favorite is Chateau and it's the Artie remix that they have. I love it. And I think part of, part of the reason I love it is because it reminds me of when we went to LA 
and um, we the hotel we were staying at was like right across from the Chart Ch the Chateau <laughs> Chateau Marmo Marmo anyway um, and it's talking about that anyway I just love it it gives me good vibes reading wise I'm rereading Harry Potter I'm on book six um, on my Kindle and we both reread Harry Potter enough that we've purchased the entire collection on our Kindle <laughs> Which is funny because we have the paperback version downstairs, but like if I'm like if if Genevieve finally falls asleep and I'm like not quite tired enough to sleep, I'll be reading on my Kindle because otherwise I have to flip on the light and read the paperback and it's going to wake her up. And anyway, so those are some of my favorites. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll stick around for more by subscribing and catching more of my videos. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Ow. Bye. <laughs> oh, why do you guys watch me? I'm such a doofus.